Good morning, guys. Welcome to breakfast on the day by day farm. Come on, let's go eat. Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. I swear Gabby was right behind me five seconds ago and now she's nowhere to be seen. There she is. Um, last night the girls rode at night. Can't wait to share that, share that video with you. It actually was like a blackout. Dark. Yeah. So fun riding. Gabby was jumping and Storm was jumping in the dark. After we have to go, um, Shut up, Joe. Love your outfit. All right, let these horses in. I like letting Gabby do the, do the iffy stuff. Good job. guys and welcome to today's video Sam has been doing morning chores the last little while because um the people have been here and uh, he does better with like people and frustrating situations than I do I get frustrated and I blurt my mouth off and I hate when I do it as soon as I do it I feel terrible but it always seems like a good idea until it's done then I regret it so um I so he deals with like workers and stuff like that and that's okay with me but anyway so today we are back in it. Gabby and I are here. We woke up Sophie. What happened when we woke up Sophie? She went right back to sleep. Yeah, she went. Then I woke her up again and said, Sophie, let's go. And then she, yeah, she didn't even say good morning, nothing. She just kept rolling from side to side to get away from oh, us. Yeah. Anyway, something crazy happened last night. Something crazy amazing happened last night. I told you guys a while ago that I wanted to start running. I used to run. My whole family is runners and running makes me, me feel amazing. <laughs> Not Gabby, but my boys and their wives. So and when you go running around the arena, I'm gonna set up jumps. That's an awesome idea. But anyway, I wanna do a grid so bad. Gabby's been looking up junk jumps online and then she got me addicted to it and then I found one yesterday and sent it to our our coaches. But anyway, um You did? Yeah, I did do that. I found the circle of doom times two. Gabby wants to do the circle of doom with times Brandon. two with Brandon and Storm. Anyways, just wait, let me finish my thought. So anyway, I'm kind of nervous to like just go running on my own. Like it's it's kind of like, I don't want to run down the road by myself. I hate that. Um, and last night when we were riding, at night, I was riding around, running around next to Sophie while she was riding Finn. And all of a sudden I was like, I could run around this arena. And then I did, I did three laps now. No. <laughs> I did two laps. I'm like, and then I did three <laughs> after because I'm like that. And Sophia did a half of a lap. <laughs> yeah. She's like me like that. Like I so said, you did a half of a lap. I said, I'm going to do three laps. And then I did, <coughs> and then I did two laps. And then I was like, oh, if you can only do two, I'm going to do three. Cause we're like a little competitive like that. But yeah, a little, <laughs> yeah, a little. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to try to do this morning. I brought down some running shoes and I'm going to try and start running. Um, around our arena for laps. So, and then yeah. she's gonna ride. Thing then I'm gonna try. One. Yeah, I'm gonna ride thing one. Finn's thing two. Well, those thing. No. Why wouldn't Why wouldn't you put your own horse as thing one? Oh oh. I'm sorry, but you can't eat her food. But well, that's you good. Know how to take her move away. Grab a grain bucket. She's so sneaky. <laughs> Open that door so she can then go she out. Then she gallops away. <laughs> she's a super sneaky girl. See, she's coming up again or else she's going to run off in anger. She does that though. She does. She gets mad. I guess it's the mayor, the whole mayor factor thing, but it just cracks me up because our boys do not ever just get mad. Time, but 
but we pointed out that tomorrow isn't here right now, baby. An absent mind came to roam around, captured you in a foggy cloud, baby. Standing on my toes on the edge, I'm ready to go. I see it clear when the shadows are lit, I'm ready to go. induced asthma. Live it. Set goals, everybody. Set goals. Even if you're 70 years old and all you can do is walk a half a block. Even if your dream is so far-fetched that you know you're never going to get there, start with baby steps. Take the slow road and you will get there. Oh, nothing better than achieving something that your soul wants to do. Right, it is too hot to ride already. It's only 9.30 in the morning and it's scorching. But look at what Miss Gabby spent all of her time setting up. Is it the right distance, Gabby? Yes. Yes. Ooh, an oxer at the end. You gotta move this pole though. I can't just stay here. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go. And this is her bounce. Did you find this, this set up online? This is not the death of doom jump, is it? Not. Oh, thank God, because I cannot be sitting here in the death of doom. We are headed to the trailer because it is a scorching day, and that is what trailers are for. But I got baby bird with me, and he's just so cute. I don't know. Somebody said he was a swallow, but I looked up swallows, and he does not look like a swallow. And he's, like, really little. But anyway, there's a problem with baby bird, and it is that he's a dirty bird. I hate dirty birds. Like, I just can't stand dirty birds. And it's because when we feed him, we're super messy and he's not good at eating um, from our big thick hands instead of like us puking, regurgitating food into his beak, which would be just so much cleaner and neater. But yeah, none of us will do that. So um, I had to give him a bath. This is the second bath I had to give him. He doesn't love them, but he does like when I pick all the dried food off of him. He just like stretches his neck out. And so now he's all curled up in a, in a towel and a little rag. Trying to get trying to get dry and warm, but look at how cute he is when I rub his head. Isn't that so cute? He's such a cute baby. Life with a dirty bird, you always have to clean him and then you always have to make sure he stays warm. Yeah, he's cute. I love this bird. I love everything. That's a, that's a problem too. Like, I love everything. So we are, yeah, that would be a good care for Storm or Finn. Stella what would they do with died. that? Stella would eat that whole thing. I know. I'd like to try one of those though. That's a honking carrot. Well, we are at the grocery store getting food for the trailer. All right, get carrots. Carrots is our thing, isn't it? We eat a lot of carrots in our family. Get 
We also like peas. Oh. Grab some bananas. Bananas, yeah. All right, what the heck is this Marmite yeast extract? That reminds me of the stuff that we got from Australia. Vegemite, Marmite. Tell me in the comments below, does anybody know is that the same stuff? All right, who can guess what we're about to make? Do you know what we're making, Sophie? Strawberry shortcake. Have you ever had strawberry shortcake before? I don't know. So basically, you take your little angel food cake, looks like this, this is how we do it in Canada. And you take some strawberries and you put them on there. Super yummy. Oopsie. And then you take some whipped cream. Oh gosh. And you slop it all around and make it look like a big mess because presentation is nothing. Sam puts whipped cream on the bottom of his first. Holds it all together. True. Oh, Sophie does hers in a design. Sophie's all about presentation. Do you know what's so funny? We're going to do a thing after and see who's is best. The other day when the girls and I were at the beach, um, we had, the girls were making like stuff in the sand. What did you guys make? It was like baking stuff. It was um, cakes, and donuts. cakes and donuts and cookies and cupcakes. And they were like having a competition. And then I kept on like being the judge. And I was like, oh. I want to do it too. So we made brownies in the dirt. We made dirt brownies. I won. And I won the brownie one. You I won none. All of them. You did not. It was yes, Sophie. I did. No. No. I made lava cake and it was so okay, good. Okay, the lava and cake. Sophia, Sophia won the round because she just did Hers a circle. Was pretty. Hers was so pretty. No. But, yeah. She put rocks in it. Yeah. Gabby they did. Were, what it was the sand cake? It was score bits. She puts chocolate chip. No, okay, get ready. You guys are gonna be the judge. I'm not done yet. They're gonna judge. Okay, hurry up, Gabby. Oh my gosh, we're waiting on Gabby. Gabby, I don't know if you guys know this, I'm but Gabby done. is super slow. <laughs> While we wait, I am gonna read you guys a letter. So a lady named Solvig is 25 years old and she sent me this letter today, this email, and she's from Norway. And she wanted to tell me that she said a bunch of really nice things about us and then she says that I own a horse named Loveland Mary and she is a cold blood trotter. I now have had my beautiful girl for two years and six months almost and she is my partner in crime. She can really be sassy and oh she can be really sassy and be like look at me I'm the best but I love her. My horse and me have had so many ups and downs. My horse and I have been through a lot of disgraced falls, clumsy arguments, but we still are going forward. I can never switch my horse to any other and I rescued Mary from the slaughterhouse and I took over her unseen. It was a very big risk. My horse was so skinny and weak that you could see in her eyes and body language that she is tired of fighting but refused to give up. But I refused to give up on her so I started to give her all the food she could eat to gain weight. Um, I gave her a lot of love and time. And the horse you see today is full of life and joy. When I got my horse, she didn't know how to jump or go for a nice hack. Today she can jump 80 centimeters um, with a rider on her back and one meter free jumping. She didn't know how to do dressage then when I got her. And today she can go sideways and trot slower. She knows how to jump five jumps in a course. Not nice to watch, but she can. And I know how hard it is to believe in yourself because I struggle with that. I'm afraid to do wrong things or say the wrong thing a lot of the time so I can understand you all. I'm going to insert some pictures of my horse so you can see her. Love from Norway. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because I absolutely love hearing about stories of people who have saved an animal and who have beaten the odds and... and Done, an, done, done amazing things and this is this is her here and she's gorgeous. <gasps> is uh -oh. she a palomino? Um, I don't know if she's a palomino or if she she's is a... She's like a half -linger, I think. I she don't looks know. like a half -linger. She is beautiful. I just wanted to say uh, thank you so much for that and every time we don't save a horse I feel really horrible and I feel really <laughs> bad inside and I wonder what if and I said to the girls today what if we had bought one of those two horses from the sales barn. Which one would you have chosen? Sam, what horse would you have chosen? The paint. You would have chosen the paint? 
I would have chose the chestnut. Gabby, what would I would have chosen the chestnut. And she's a chestnut, not she's a chestnut, not a light bay. Her mane looks like bay, but it's not it's true. Question. Cause it Jasmine's a chestnut and her mane looks like that, so Sophie. Chestnut or pink? Chestnut. Yeah. So we all, like that chestnut that I saw actually really hit close to home for me. Okay, Sam's telling me to shut up and let's judge because he wants to eat his cake. All right, time's up. Everybody back away from the cake. Wait, wait, I have to do one last oh, thing. You all uh, every... you all copied me. No, I did mine first. Okay, let's see. All right, cake number one belongs to Sophie and it is this gorgeous. She, I like her. She has like the style that I like. She ripped apart all of her strawberries and made them look like sprinkles on top of a cupcake. And lots of different layers of strawberries. Yeah, it's so Oh yeah, cute. I did my layer. So it looks okay. like there's only strawberries on top of mine, but when you cut through, there's strawberries in the middle. Okay, so cake number two has got a strawberry layer in the middle there. You can't see. Messy, messy presentation. Um, sometimes, so sometimes messy is good. Messy she, looks cute. She also has a layer of granola on top, which is kind of an added thing. I love it. It if looks you, good and tastes good. If you vote cake number two, put in the comments. Sophie's cake number one. Cake number three is Sam's Plain Jane. Very clean. What the heck? Why does your, your dresser look like that? And that is cake number three. And cake number four is mine, which actually doesn't look that good. <laughs> Especially now. Like, Stop oh licking. You sabotager. Anyway, mine is just plain and small. Cake one, cake, cake. two, cake three, no, cake three that he's already eating, <laughs> or cake four. Comment below. Gabby wanted me to show you the inside of her because it's all like beautiful. And I know. Gabby's really into cooking. Cooking, cooking shows. It's easy. Anyway, thank you so much, Soul Big. I know I said that wrong. Um, for sending us this story, I really do believe in our future is a rescue. Not in my future anytime soon, but one day, uh, one of my kids, I think, will end up rescuing a horse. Not at this farm. Maybe not okay. today. Maybe not tomorrow. But one day, I really do believe it. But anyway, we're headed to the beach, and we're going to go. Let's go. Go, Lazy Bones. One of the reasons I love to come to the beach is because even in the sun, when you're sitting by the pool, there's a breeze coming off the lake. So it's never as hot at the beach as it is in town. But another thing that I like about coming to the trailer is when you come during the week, it's hardly ever busy. So we have the pool all to ourselves. So I'm sitting here, I'm gonna read my book and relax and get nice and hot, and then I'm gonna go in the pool. Sam likes to have a rest. Um, and we're gonna be heading, we're gonna, we're gonna be heading back a little bit earlier than we normally would today because Gabby, because Gabby set up a whole set of jump stuff that she's super excited. And last night it got really late because I was editing. And so tonight I told her we'll go down earlier, we'll give them supper, we'll get everything set up, and then we'll have a nice relaxing ride. We are headed home. I'm gonna feed this baby bird. We are headed home and um, we're gonna ride tonight because it doesn't get cool until nighttime and we've gotten really into the habit of it and I'm excited because I am gonna ride Stella, Sophie's gonna ride Finn, and Gabby's gonna ride Storm and we're all gonna ride together and Sam's gonna video so that will be up on our channel soon. We're a little bit behind on our extra videos but yeah, keep watch for that and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.